Hi guys, it's Tammy with Pretty Presets, and I'm here for the second edit with our new um, portrait workflow. And I have already changed um, a little bit. I've already set my exposure. It was really um, a little bit dark on the side of her face, but I already set that, and then I did a few radial filters just to lighten the side of her face. And now I am going to start using uh, the new set over here on the left. I'm going to start with uh, Filmic. I'm going to do that first. Um, I really kind of like that it's a little bit uh, retro sort of looking, which is what um, her mom wanted in this type of shoot. So I'm going to hit Filmic, and then I am going to use Blue Steel, which is going to start to take a little bit of that um, warmth out that there was a little too much because it was at sunset. Um, and then I'm also going to use Blue Mist, which is just going to take it a little bit further. I still like the look of it, but it's taking out a little bit of that crazy orange from the sun. Um, I'm going to come down here now to the pretty toolkit that also comes with the new portrait set. Um, just basically a faster way to change your sliders. You can just click right on them instead of having to mess with getting the exact number you want on your slider because you know sometimes that slider does not cooperate. So I'm going to hit sharpen 50. Um, I'm going to come down here a little bit further. And I am going to use right here, and it gives us all these white balance options. And it was at sunset. And guess what? The sunset sunrise white balance absolutely makes it perfect for me. It really takes down a lot of the harsh warmth from the sun and it makes it just look a little bit prettier instead of so overly warm. So I'm gonna stick with that one. Then I'm gonna come in a little bit here on her face and I'm gonna use some of the new brushes. I'm gonna come down here and find them. I haven't moved them around yet like I usually do, but I'm going to hit blues bluer. I'm just gonna go right here on the colored part of her eye and they're kind of a blue green, but I still like the blue added. I'm gonna hit new, which you always wanna do because if you don't, it's gonna change the brush that you just used. Um, then I am going to use the eye and teeth whitener right here, just on the whites of the eyes, both sides. You do wanna be careful not to get it on the lid or anywhere strange. Hit new again. And then I am going to do our skin smoother. Not that she needs it a lot, but a little bit of sun is a little harsh here on some of this. And I'm not super, super crazy careful. I mean, you don't want to get on the eyes. You don't want to get on the lips um, or like the nose, uh, the nostril holes. You don't want to cover those. Your photo will look too soft and, and sort of strange, a little bit alien-like is how I would describe it when you go over parts that you shouldn't go over. Let me come down here, and I'm using the space bar, brings up the little hand. When you're zoomed in really close like this and you want to move around the photo, you hit the space bar and it brings that little hand up and then you can move the photo instead of using the brush for a minute while the hand is on there. And I change the size of my brush in Lightroom with the little spinner on the mouse, which is convenient. And then every time I use Photoshop, I have to use buttons and it gets me confused every time. I am going to take out this little bit of a scar right here on her face, just a little bit. And I'm gonna touch up just a tiny bit on her lips right here where those spots look kind of um, like dry a little bit from her lipstick. Um, this here is a scar on her mouth, but I'm gonna leave that. She's had that scar since she was a baby. I've known her since she was a baby. Um, so I'm gonna leave that one there. I'm gonna head back out here to fit. Get done. I'm happy with the portrait of that. But I still feel like I need to bring, I'm gonna bring the shadows overall up. Yep, I'm gonna bring it to probably 50. Yep, right there. Just this side was just a little bit too shadowed still. Um, 
but I like that. Now I feel like her eyes, sometimes when one eye is in the sun and one is in the shade, it can be hard to make a match, but I feel like they look good together. I'm okay with a little bit of warmth on this side of her face because it is the sun. It's coming from that side, so I'm okay with that. Um, so I am pretty happy with that. I hope that that helped you understand how to use our new toolkit a little bit better. Like I said, you've got all these options over here, all the contrast exposure, all the things you can just quickly change. This right here is a few mixers um, that we put together, and then this is how you do it yourself. And all of these layer on top of each other. They are not kicking the other preset off. These layer nicely on top of each other because they're all changing something different. This is messing with the curve tone. This is messing with the split tone. This is the tint overlay. So this is changing dramatically the colors and the tones of your photo um, just where you want it to instead of all over, um, sort of across the board changing everything. This changes little pieces of it at a time so that by the time you're down at the bottom, you have the tone, the temperature, the white balance that you're looking for. So I hope that was helpful. I've got another video too where I did this indoor shot if you want to watch that one as well and I'll see you next time. Thanks.